Richard Manville. I'm the construction manager for Waits Residential and we're currently 60% of the way through the construction of 200 new houses and apartments here at Davis Village. Uh, it's in Leon Solent, Hampshire. The site was a former military airbase um, until 1993 when the site became redundant and was under the ownership of Homes England formerly the HCA, which is a government agency. So we're in partnership with um, Homes England, building the new homes. As you can see behind me, we've got two sites. We've got the west and the east, uh, two parcels of land. Our site offices sit in the middle. And to give you some perspective, there's about three quarters of a mile between the two sites. So it's quite a big area that we cover. So we put the offices in the middle so that we could obviously cover both sites from a central point which is working quite well. So today I'm gonna to take you through the various stages of the construction and I'll hope it's be, it'll be some use to you. We've introduced the one-way system on the um, project office area. So people have to wait to be seen in these areas and follow their way out through the door at the back there. A big out sign we can't miss. This helps with social distancing. This is the uh, changing area for the guys. Coach boots and hats. Air defenders if required. We've introduced the uh, red dots, which are two metres apart, just to obviously give people a bit of guidance as to where, where they should be with regards to social distancing. This is COVID corner which we've introduced, which is a bit of an update. If anyone wants to know anything about uh, COVID-19 regarding the site, then come and have a little look in here. This takes us through to our corridor of compliance, which is the last port of call really, before the guys go out on site. So there's some really strong messages in here to uh, a few reminders of zero harm, etc. Um, it's bright yellow, so nobody can miss it. So Davis Village is um, part of the Considerate Constructors scheme that um, a lot of sites are involved with. Basically, it uh, means that you, you get scored, you get visited by the Considerate Constructors, and uh, they will come and score you on a regular basis to tell you how well you're doing and how considerate you are as a neighbour part of the community. Uh, we're doing really well. We've got uh, 43, which is quite a high score actually. So we're very pleased with that. Okay, we're here in the middle of the yellow site now. As you can see, the um, walkways are in place to keep pedestrians and operatives away from vehicles, which is really essential. Um, segregation is key. Um, as you can see, some of these houses are kind of coming to their latter stages, if you like. Um, if you look over here, we have a fence which divides the site and the finished areas. This is part of our occupation strategy, which is phased. So it enables us to finish as we go. So we'll, we finish, complete an area, they move in, and then we move we move that fence along. As you can see, the majority of this work is done now. It's just internal works going on. So it works quite well. You see, the safety visit continues. Yeah, these will be completing in about three weeks time. So we're just doing our uh, quality checks at the moment. Still on the yellow side, um, the guy over here is towing a bowser around that's full of water. And basically that spreads water around, keeps the dust down. It's very dusty at the moment in the summer months. Yeah, scaffolding, if you're looking over there, it's called a hacker staircase. Um, and that's our access. So we prefer it to use in the ladder. Uh, it's a lot safer and easier for people to carry tools up and down onto the scaffold. Um, it's a really, really good system. This is um, the yellow site, section of the site that is complete, as I said earlier about the occupation strategy. 
So this is the area that leads you up to the, um, eventually to the white fence. So as you can see, these are occupied, being lived in, uh, looking pretty good in the sunshine. Possibly the cat will come up with an issue. That's what we do, we chat about it, we talk about how we can get over things, how we can make things better. It's all about trying to improve, particularly with COVID-19, trying to make things a lot safer for our guys, keeping them socially distanced as best we can. So here's um, substructures. Uh, this is the substructure work going on at the moment. These guys are putting in the um, membrane, which is a gas membrane to stop any, thing, any gas leaching up into the house. That's that blue polythene that you can see over there. Substructure brickwork, as you can see here. Um, that takes us up to DPC. Once we get to DPC, we call it the superstructure. So this is the substructure really at its final stages. Uh, and then the superstructure starts, which is your brickwork and blockwork. As you can see the uh, concrete's literally just been poured this afternoon. Tent. So there's four small units in here. Um, the DPC is the level of the brickwork. So the superstructure will be built from here. The next operation will be the um, the mat that goes in place of uh, where, you, where you can see from here to the machine so there'll be a like a mini piling mat for the scaffold and then the scaffold will be erected from that point so basically this one is almost ready to take the superstructure brickwork which is good news we're on the red site again and these units are slightly further on now. Substructure's in, complete. Um, there's a scaffold mat being formed around the outside of the building to take the scaffold, and these have been concreted. So these basically are ready to um, accept the external trades and the superstructures. Hi, uh, my name's Andy McLaren, um, and I'm a senior site manager here at Waits at, uh, at Daedalus. My main role uh, is uh, external works, so I'm kind of looking after the eastern and the western parcels of um, the development, 200 units all in all. Um, so as you can imagine, um, uh, a lot of service coordination um, has to happen, a lot of uh, coordination with our, our civil contractors, bricklaying contractors, scaffolders, landscapers, fencing contractors, XYZ, so a big involvement with that. As you can imagine, 200 units that we have to get connected to the main uh, power systems and gas and communications so there's a lot of coordination with our site teams and our, our preferred contractors um, with gas and electricity and water etc also quite heavily involved with uh, speaking with our, our existing neighbours uh, keeping them informed with uh, progress because um, we do cut up to their, their boundaries and at certain times we need to change their boundary um, fences and put our fences up um, now, obviously COVID has, has impacted hugely on, on us here um, with uh, labour levels, with the uh, distancing, but I'm uh, very confident that I was part of the team in my original setup with Richard and, uh, and uh, Pete Mittam uh, to get things in place, which I feel has been a success. Um, and in the main, the 48 hour pause was, was an absolutely exceptional thing to do and has worked for us here. Okay, I'm up on the scaffold now. Um, mentioned the superstructures, this is part of the superstructures. Um, I've waited until the bricklayers went for their tea to take this because obviously the social distancing, they're going to be squeezing past people. Um, but as you can see, this is work in progress. So the bricklayers work to a line, you can see there, and keeping everything nice and straight and symmetrical. Keeping the area tidy is key as well. These are wall ties. Basically these tie the brickwork and the blockwork together. So this is what's known as a cavity in here. And it's a fully insulated cavity, so that's what keeps you warm, keeps the heat in, 
houses that we build these days are very, very um, efficient in that respect. So we don't need a great deal of heating because the, the, the heat escape is minimal because the, they are built so well. The bricklayers work to a level, which is spirit level. And as you can see, everything needs to be absolutely spot on as we call it line and level so the line is the is the uh, line that you can see and as they go they check the level these are muck boards That's where the um the muck gets loaded onto the muck boards for the bricklayers to obviously build the walls next to them this is a corner profile you can see here so obviously it takes your line in both directions Again, to make sure that everything's lined up and level. It's looking pretty good for There's a roof that has been felt and battened with a non-breathable membrane. So this is ready to take the uh, tiles. manner as well in case the heavens open and start getting the stairs, the windows, etc. into the plot. So it's a real key stage for a construction site. Just coming into the main material compound. Um, obviously it's a really important area. It's where all the materials get delivered or most of the materials will get delivered um, from bricks, blocks to joists. Those are the silos, which is uh, basically where the bricklayers get their mortar from. Uh, this allows us to get a consistent mix throughout the build, not only for the strength, but also to, to keep the colour the same. So again, really important. We have two on each end. Um, again, it's important to keep these clean, keep them tidy and uh, keep them working, because this is really the heartbeat of the site. We keep these working the site will keep going. It's also really important that materials are covered. Obviously, on them getting wet before they go into the build. So as you can see, everything's covered. Bricks, really important the bricks are covered because bricks actually act as a sponge when wet. So it's important that they are kept as dry as possible. This is what we call the first fixed stage. As you can see, the, the, the metal stud balls are in place. The stairs have now gone in um, against the, the block work. There is no wiring or no plumbing in here yet. Good view of the joists that we use, which are metal frame joists, which are really good for access. It means you can thread your wires and your, your cables and pipes through all of those, which is really handy. Just going up the stairs. During the build, it's really important we keep everyone safe. This is a standard barrier that we get the carpenters to fit once the stairs are in to prevent anyone falling. Again, as you can see, the, the walls have gone up. It's looking pretty bare in here, but this is ready for our um, mechanical and electrical trades to come in and do their bit before we then close up the walls, which is basically plasterboard on the block walls that you see and all these reveals. It's a good chance for us to inspect, make sure that everything's sealed up and done properly, everything's screwed in its right place, everything's plumb and everything's in good shape. So it's a, it's a really good point in the build for us to check everything is correct. Action isn't just on the inside, we keep this netting on the um, lamp posts again right up until we hand over to avoid them getting smashed or damaged before um, we complete the areas. 
I'll just take you inside one of the units. This is nearing completion. We're just putting the floor coverings down, um, which is uh, the carpet underlay, as you can see there. And obviously the, the kitchen, just getting ready for the, uh, the oven installation, etc. So this is getting close to completion. All of the uh, protection has been taken off the toilets and the um, radiators basically getting ready to um, move in and do our final quality inspection. As I say, we leave the protection on radiators, etc., and on the windows and doors right up until the last moment for obvious reasons. It keeps it from being um, scratched and damaged before handover. Hi, I'm Victor, one of the section managers on the project. I'm looking after the finishes. My main job is to make sure the houses are finished to a good standard and everyone is safe on the site.